Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I am Kiana. This is my channel, Shexy Lady. Uh, it's been a while. It's been a while, but um, my good friend Jalisa at Reading Beyond the Book Cover has tagged me in a video, and so we're going to do the, what is it called? Um, it's how do we rate our books book tag? So um, we're going to go ahead and, and film that for you today. Um, so the question number one is how often do you DNF and what makes you DNF? I DNF pretty often. I DNF, it could be for a myriad of reasons. I can DNF because it's boring. I can DNF because I don't feel like I'm understanding the, the material. I can DNF just for whatever reason. Um, a lot of times I just do a soft DNF, which is just kind of like something else came up for me to read because I'm very much a mood reader. Sometimes something else comes and um, uh, comes through on my Libby and I have to finish that one first before they snatch it away and it'll be a really long time before I can get to it. So I have to soft DNF some books. Um, but if I truly DNF it, it's because I just feel like I'm not going to like it. And I don't like wasting my time on books. When I Once I feel like it's going to be something that I don't like, I'll DNF. I'll DNF if it's something uh, trigger, if there is something in it that I don't like. Most likely if it's like child abuse or child SA or SA, uh, I will DNF um, a lot of times because of that, especially if it's, if it's involving a child or really graphic, and I would DNF for that. Um, so uh, those are reasons why I would DNF. Okay, question number two. Do you rate books one star? I don't really go beneath a three stars um, because I, if, if I feel like a book is going to be a one star, most likely I have already DNF'd it. So it never gets to be a one star for me. So I don't usually get that far to DNF for a one star. Okay. Uh, question number three. What is a two star book to you? I rarely have any two star books um, because I have DNF'd it already. So it's three stars is most likely the, 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 the lowest I'll go. Um, no, because I, I, I don't believe in rating books that I haven't read. And if I've DNF'd it, it's because I wasn't vibing with it. Okay, let me see. Now, um, is a three-star book a good book to you? Yes. Three stars, three stars to me usually means the book was okay. I finished it. It was okay. That's like the lowest I'm going to get it is a three stars. It, it, it was, it's okay. You know, there were some good things about it, you know, and it kind of, and there were some bad things about it, and it kind of evened out. It was just okay. Um, let me see. What does four stars? Four stars means I liked it. Four stars means I really liked it. Four stars means I liked it, but there was one or two things, like a main thing that is preventing me from giving it a five star. It means that, um, you know, I really enjoyed most of it. So, yeah. Um. I say most of my books are four or five stars. Um, let me see. Uh, do I do half star ratings? I do half star ratings on Storygraph, but Goodreads doesn't let you do half star ratings. So I mean, mostly, I'll I'll go up. I'll go up a rating. Uh, if if it's so, maybe a lot of um, three star. Uh, a lot of four stars are probably closer to three and a half. But sometimes I'll go up. Um, let me see. Do I rate five stars often? Yes. I give out five stars like candy. I, I give out five stars because of the vibes. I give out five stars. Um, because five star usually means I loved it. You know, I don't, you know, I loved it. There's nothing wrong with it. And I most likely will reread it again and I'll recommend it. That's what a five star is to me. But yeah, I give out five stars often. You know, I've given five stars books to books people hate it. <laughs> uh, let me see. What do five stars do to make them rate at a high? Five stars usually mean they kept me interested. I really wanted to know what happened. A lot of times I I don't want it to end. Um, I was fully invested and I would, I would like to read it again. 
So those were what five stars mean to me. Question eight. Has your rating of books changed over the years? No, not really. I never, when I was younger, I didn't really rate books. It was just good or, you know, not. So, you know, I didn't really rate books until, like, good re I started using Goodreads. So, you know. <laughs> so it hasn't really changed. Um, let me see. Question nine. Where do you record your ratings of your books? I record them on Goodreads. I record them on Storygraph. I started a reading journal, but I'm not really too good at keeping up with it. I started it. I don't know what I'm supposed to write in it, <laughs> but, uh, you know, I started a reading journal. Um, and let me see. So that's where I record them. Bookish people that I choose to do in this tag. Um, I don't know. Whoever wants to do it, I'll tag some people. Um, hmm. I have to look and see because I got to see who, who, uh, who, um, um, Jaleesa, uh, tagged so I don't make sure, so I make sure not to tag the same people. But whoever wants to do this tag, go ahead. You know, um, you know, that's, that's a good deal. Um, but yeah. That's my bookish tag video. Um, I will put some people, tag some people in the description box. And, you know, thank you for watching. And you guys have a good day. And thank you for joining me. If you like my content, like, subscribe, leave a comment. And it's good to see you. See you in the next video.